Oh yeah. I didn't really want to make this video. Well, I did, kind of. I'm I'm angry because this this was meant to be fixing genuine stuff like three D models and shit. Okay, they said they're gonna improve the character creation, so that's that's okay. That's fine. This is, yeah, you know, they they could have possibly. Uh, we've expanded the options, uh, being able to. It's basically just, they've added stuff they should that should have been in it in the first place, like hairstyles, complexions, skin tones. Sorry, I'm, I'm not really caring about that. Um, for both genders, don't really care. Um, which is, this this is a nice addition. Uh, players wanting to adjust their look mid game, that's fine. Bit, bit. Um, what's it called now? Immersion breaking, but that that's good because so you don't have to restart your game when you know you've made a really ugly character and stuff. Um, this is where I draw the line. This just solidifies the fact that they're genuinely only making decisions based on, you know, on th their stupid ideologies rather than being like, "Hey, we've made aliens. This is a, this is diversity because that's as diverse as you're ever gonna get." Aliens. Scott Ryder can now pursue pursue Yal as a romance option. This doesn't quite make sense for his character. I've I've been able to see. People, I, I know it's not the same me not playing the game, but I've seen people, well, not playing up until that point anyway, um, but I've seen people play the game and talk to him. He does not seem gay. Um, let me get an image of y'all for you, y'all. I don't really care about that. <laughs> uh, him. He, he genuinely does not come off as homosexual. Uh, I know that sounds like a weird thing to go after, but because of the controversy that they started because their shitty development team... I'm going to say this now. Why? Just, no. You should be spending time on fixing textures, broken models, 3D animations, just anything important not this like just virtue signals I'll read it to you you've probably been reading it but Scott Ryder did not have the sa same sex squad mate available as a romance option no big deal to be honest nor could the achievement for completing free romances be achieved with only same sex partners well that's kind of good because it gets people to replay the game as the opposite gender essentially um, it, it it was fine as it was, and as the Angara have expressed the fluid fluidity in how they perceive gender, it seemed only natural that Scott could have a relationship with Yarl. Really? Not really. Scott doesn't seem the. I'm not very. I don't really like any of the main characters of this game. I don't really like any of the characters except except for what's the name of the guy who's. The Rex clone. Anyway, but genuinely, what is this? Why? Why do you have to virtual signal from this? However, we understand that a character's orientation is an important part of making them feel real. Yes, that's an important part of any character. Look at Nier. Not Nier on Automata, the original one, where it had a trap. And they didn't bang you over the head with it. They didn't really care. It was just like, oh, I discovered it for myself. Oh. She has a penis. He has a penis. Oh no. The relationships with your crew are some of the most loved and cherished parts of our game games. But you're not the admins team though. So it's not technically your game. Shift it. So we want to make sure, sure we got it right. It was fine as it was. Genuinely, uh, you're catering to the wrong people here. You're catering to people who probably won't even play your game. Don't, don't, do you agree with me, Nash? These, you know, you know, these, uh, LGBT and, you know, the letters. Play it. Hmm? They're very against games, aren't they? A lot of these groups are. A lot of them are. I mean, I know, I know, 
someone who wants to, you know, change genders, but that's his choice. But I've never heard him come up to me, him as in his current state, don't really care what to call him after it, but I've never heard him come up to me and complain once about homosexuals in games, how they're represented. Never. And I've known him for eight years now. Yeah, just going eight. Um, and I've never heard him complain about it. I've, I know someone else, um, I won't give names obviously, uh, they've never come up to me and gone, you know, games are really, you know, they're really making gay people and transgender people look and feel uncomfortable. If anything, they'd probably come up to me and say, why does Andromeda bang you over the head with gender, you know, genders in the first place? The point of Andromeda is to leave old world feelings behind to start afresh. You know, you're going out discovering a galaxy, but the first one of the first things you come across is, oh yeah, uh, I'm transgender. Why did I need to know that? I am busy being, imp you know, important to the story. I am busy going out exploring and making sure. That, that breaks immersion. Such old world views like that have no place in Mass Effect because Mass Effect is about being in the future. If you know what I mean, Nash. It, it's... Like, they have a reference of weed later on which makes no sense when you... If you've ever played um, a Mass Effect games because the... Uh, the... Like, the drug of the universe is red sand. It's meant to be... Um, you know, it's meant to be just that. It, red sand is bent, is the equivalent of weed and uh, what's it called now? Coke. A combination of the two. It, it's the equivalent of a combination of two. Those two. It boosts your biotic powers, but it also slowly eats away your nervous system. That's see, old world views like that stay. You know, there. Um, but this, this is just a prime example of them not really giving a shit about the condition of the game. So uh, we consult with members of the LGBTQ community, both externally and within our own studios. After carefully considering all feedback, we decided this was an important change to make. Unlike, you know, fixing bugs, uh, make, fixing that hilarious Krogan scene where they punch each other. <laughs> Fucking hell. Or, you know, um... Ah, oh, Jesus. We decided this was an important change to make, and one that made sense for Jarl, Scott, and the Angara. Not really. I wanted you to fix the game, personally. Before I buy, you know, go out of my way to buy it myself. Our writing, editing, and animation teams worked together to ensure this change made sense for Jarl's character. So you've rewritten a character, essentially. Just so he could push your bullshit, boring, outdated, mundane views in front of people's faces. And the result is a relationship we hope feels as fulfilling and as memorable for Scott as it does for Sarah. Wow. So Nash, uh, how do you feel about this situation? I I'm obviously pissed off because I wanted them to be fi actually going out of their way to fix the game, not rewrite stuff. I think they shouldn't be focusing on those views for it. They should be focusing on fixing the game, as you have said. Thank you. Well, I shouldn't be thanking you, that's your own opinion, but it, it's genuinely just so fucking stupid. <laughs> it's... It, it, it just shows the level of incompetency this team has... I don't want them making a new Bioware game. I know they've already got um, a new code name, Dylan or something. But yeah, this this is so ridiculously outdated views. I know it like it still goes on now, but that's the thing. There, I've seen forums and nobody's been complaining about this. No one. Maybe you, you get a group here and there about of about three or four voices, but you get obviously the bigger. You know, more obese, you know, 
uh, groups where th they're complaining about her. It's like, oh, that's not, not he doesn't get a gay option. So, that's his character. You do not change someone's character to fit someone else's views. Uh, In conclusion, Bioware has fallen from grace because it would prefer putting political views in front of its game. That's just to sum it up, so bye bye. Fuck off, cunt. <laughs>